Hey, good morning. Grace and peace to you all in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ the Lord. I just wanted to uh, say hello. You know, I the purpose of this channel is to share the gospel of grace of Jesus Christ about his truth, about his true word, not the watered down manipulated word, but his true word about his love, about his kingdom, and also about his wrath that many tend to conveniently forget to mention. But you know what? He loves us so much. His father loved us so much that he sent his son to save us, to send Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, to save us. What a love that is. You know, on this channel, we, uh, we're watching for the soon return, the appearing of Jesus Christ in the clouds to remove those who truly love and follow him. And I know you be, may be asking yourself, you know, what does that really mean? Because a lot of people claim they follow Jesus Christ, but... You can tell through their actions, even through their words, if they if they honestly do. You know, we all stumble, we all fall, we all fall short of His glory. But Jesus Christ is looking for a pure bride. One who is longing for His return. One who is waiting for His return. One who is not slumbering. One who is diligently seeking Him pursuing a relationship with him. I want to share a few things. You know, uh, there's so much deception going on in the world that we as Christ followers need to be not only grounded in the word, but fully rooted in a relationship with Jesus Christ. You know, we are just one breath away from eternity when you think about it. It's easy to fall back into the world, especially in these times, these crazy times going on. So those who have eyes to see, those who have ears to hear, please listen. It is crucial that we do not shrink back, that we do not slide back into the world. That we keep, again, grounded, rooted in Jesus Christ the Lord, in his true word. Do not start mixing in a bunch of extra books into the word of God. There's so many religions out there that they claim to follow Christ, but they have these extra books their prophet wrote. I'm telling you, it is, it is imperative that we study scripture outside of any type of religion, because Jesus Christ has nothing to do with religion. Jesus Christ, our Savior, has everything to do with a relationship. A relationship of truth. A relationship of hope, of faith. And being completely, completely faithful to Jesus Christ. You know, we sometimes stumble, we fall. You know, we all fall short, like I mentioned before. It is important that when we find ourselves in a situation like that, that we run back into Christ's arms. Do not let the world devour you. You know, when you, I've mentioned this on some videos in the past, you know, when you look at just how many churches have just, you know, thrown their hands up in the air, oh, I give up. You know what, this this sickness is just going to kill us all and we just got to wear our masks and we got to, we got to listen to the government because the government is telling us the truth and you know, the only truth, the ultimate truth, is the Word of God. Matter of fact, Scripture tells us that His words, the words of Jesus Christ, will live on forever. And yet you are just submitting to anything the government says. You know, there's a time and a place for everything. we got to open our eyes to the times in which we live. The deception is so thick. It is so heavy. It is permeated every facet of our society. You must have eyes to see. You must have ears to hear. You must keep your eyes open. Stay awake, church. 
stay awake. Do not fall back into a slumber. That's exactly what the enemy wants. This whole thing, this whole pandemic, this whole farce is orchestrated by the enemy to keep those who are in Christ quiet. He wants you to have your mouth shut and your face is covered. He wants you not to say a word about what's going on. They want you to stay apart from each other. You know, when you have eyes to see, you can see, you can, this is plain as day. And yet, you know, uh, I mentioned this in a couple of videos ago that I attended a, a church service that they were just following all the rules because so they can have church. Well, you know, last time I checked, our Father in heaven, Abba Father, Yahweh, and His Son, Jesus Christ the Lord, Yeshua HaMashiach, through the power of the Holy Spirit, that's the ultimate word. And yet we only have a, a few, there's just a few out here in the West that are standing up for truth, that are standing up for what is right, that are standing for Christ. And so many, so many pastors are cowering from the pulpit. So many churches have completely submitted to the laws of this world and not to the precepts and words of our Father in heaven. It is sad. It is also disappointing. If you are a pastor, if you are a church leader, it is time now to stand. It is time to open your eyes. Open your eyes to what's going on. Hey, if they throw you in jail because of this, glory to God. If you get arrested because you're having church service, glory to God. What are you afraid of? I'd be afraid of our Father in heaven. I would not be afraid of what man can do to you. I'd be afraid and fearful of the one who deserves to be feared. Not only Jesus Christ, the Lord, who's going to come and redeem those who follow him, but will return after the seven-year tribulation to invoke judgment upon this world and destroy everything you see and yet you were you were afraid because your church you know because you know they're, they're telling you to wear masks and keep your churches closed and keep your mouth shut about worship that's what you're afraid of i say stand tall stand firm stand up for what is right and good quit cowering down to what's going on this this is no joke you have people in your in your church that are relying on you to be a leader to be a beacon and yet you're just being a coward and that is just the absolute truth quit being a coward but i'm gonna lose my pension blah 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 you know what there's a lot more at stake than your pension there's a lot more at stake than just going to jail you know there's a couple churches uh, John MacArthur's church in particular, they said, no, we're not going to cower down. We're not going to submit to these not only unconstitutional laws, but unbiblical laws. You were literally following unbiblical precepts. You were following the enemy if you're closing your church. You have to see this. You have to. And I don't mean to be blunt, but you need to pull your head out of you know where. This is, this is, quit, quit messing around with God. This whole thing is a sham. Why are you buying into this sham? Have you even bothered doing any research? Have you even bothered reading the word that you claim that you follow? The word that you claim that you live by? The word that you claim that you lead your church by? Quit being a coward right now. Our time is short. The hour is near. The handwriting is on the wall to what is going on. Now listen. You know, when you read scripture, those, uh, Jesus Christ himself, his disciples, those who followed him, hey look, they all got met with a, a pretty horrific demise. They were stoned. They were beaten. 
they were crucified, they were boiled in oil, they were obviously martyred, they were shipwrecked, they were put in prison. Glory to God for those things. You know, Christ tells us if you share in his sufferings, you will share in his glory. But what if you're a coward? I would like you to please study scripture about what happens to the fearful and the coward. And again, these are not my words. These are the words right out of scripture, the same scripture that you claim that you follow, but you're hunkered down, cowered down in your house with your mask on, driving around in your car with your mask on, with your mask on, proclaiming to be a follower of Christ, but you know what? We just got to follow the government and, the, and all the state rules, and our state leader tells us we can't do this and we can't do that. Cowards, I'm telling you. Stand, grow a set. Grow a set and be a man if you're a man. Stand firm. Quit bowing down to the enemy. Hey, look, if you're giving a church service and they come in and arrest you, glory to God. Don't you? Can you see what's going to go forth from that? Can you see the amount of other churches that are going to see this? The people that will see this. Listen, I know these words are, are, are harsh. We live in perilous times. We are living at the end of days. As a pastor, you should know this. I'm not a pastor and I know this. Because I believe in the true word of God. The true word of Yahweh, Abba Father. The true word of Jesus Christ through the power of the Holy Spirit. Will you stand? Will you believe in that true word? Will you make a proclamation and not be a coward? Open your churches back up. People are hungry. They know something is going on. They could see things going on around us. We are living in dire times. We are living in the end of times. The enemy wants your churches to be closed because he knows his hour is near. He knows the end is near. He does not want people to know this. He does not want people to be told this. I hope this pierces you. Again, if you get arrested, so what? Why are you afraid of that? They take your pension because you belong to some religious group? So what? Is your pension worth you standing before the Lord and trying to answer these questions? Listen, I know it's tough. People are hungry. The hour is near. The harvest is ready. Make a proclamation. Open your, open your churches. Do what is right in the Lord's eyes. Quit doing what is right in, the man's, in man's eyes. Quit cowering down to man's laws. Our church founding fathers, Jesus Christ, all of his disciples, again, they were breaking the law. Understand that. Literally breaking the law. Many will support you. More than you can imagine will support you. Anybody listening to this, please forward this on to a pastor. Forward this on to your congregation. You cannot continue to do this. The time is now. Stand for what is righteous, for what is right. Stand for Jesus Christ. Quit being a coward. Yes. I'm saying it, you are being a coward. Now the few that have stood up, they just accepted it. You know what? I like what MacArthur said. Hey, look, if I get thrown in prison, I always wanted to start a prison ministry. Hallelujah, good for him. I hope this message finds you well. And as always, it is in the name and by the precious blood of our Savior, Jesus Christ, the Lord, I pray. Amen. Have a great day, guys. Hope you listen. Bye-bye.